Fangs, fangs, fangs. Hey, y'all, hey. Fangs. Shout out to Doc. Facts, facts, facts. Hey, y'all, what it do? Let's talk about it. It's a bunch going on today. Let's get caught up a little bit before I go live later on. Is that all right? We want the facts, right? We want the facts. Let's go. Let's talk about these escapes that's going Let's talk about these missing <laughs> sky cops in high targeted area. Now they, they hiding sky cops. They taking them down, expecting for the citizens, the neighbors to tell them who doing what. Cause ain't nobody monitoring the sky cops. The sky cops done went to hell, went straight to hell. <laughs> Cause they not in the sky. Hello. Can y'all believe that? Huh? Baby. I got to get up off this sick bed and morning bed. And we got to talk. Is that all right? <laughs> Upset about the mystery disappearance of a Memphis police sky cop camera across the street. Missing. How's it missing? Homeowners say are not working anymore, and tonight I know the camera in question is not working because it's nothing. It's simply not there anymore. Okay. Been here for years. Louise Newby has lived in this house off Shelby Drive for decades, and tells me recently there's been a rash of crime in her own backyard. I heard the shots. I just hit the floor. What she heard? She has to hit the floor. She has her. She says she has to hit the floor when she hears the gunshots. Can you imagine? Bless her heart. Are you Nana? <laughs> okay. Stop. Okay. I love Oak Haven. I've been here 43 years. Louise Newby has lived in this house off Shelby Drive for decades and tells me recently there's been a rash of crime in her own backyard. I heard the shots. I just hit the floor. What she heard, a man being shot to death near the intersection of Shelby Drive and Chevron. But then, just a few months later... A car had hit my brick wall back here. Newby says the driver died in that accident, and similar collisions happened four times in recent years. She adds MPD asked her if she had Who asked her? the incident. Newby at that point tells me she was confused because there was a sky cop in front of her house that should have captured everything. He was fired. And he told me. Oh, he on vacation. It's not working. Mm. So he on leave of absence. Oh, look oh, at it. They took it down. Oh. Oh. I hadn't even noticed. Oh. So not only Nana. Sky oh, it is not working. Where so thank you. So she has no protection. Sky cop not working. It's simply not there anymore. So I went down. See how they did the neighborhood. This police headquarters to get mm -hmm. answers. Mm -hmm. 
Chief Davis, what the fuck are you doing? Also, if then when it will be replaced. Because these things happen right here on the corner. They have no evidence. They don't have anything. But they look for me to tell them what happened. Miss Newell. Three o'clock in the morning. I don't know. Hell, I'm asleep. All right, of course, here at ABC 24 News, we are seeking solutions. I did not get a solution, however, at this hour of 6, 10 in the evening. I emailed Memphis police this morning. And they ignored you. why the Sky Cop cameras Gone. are not there anymore. It was there, but now it's not, of course. at the. So now she knows they planned have no plans on protecting you, ma'am. But she asked for $500 million. Yeah. Y'all thought I forgot. <laughs> uh-uh. Uh-huh. She's not protected. So any and everything can go on at the corner of Shelby Drive and Chevron. Because MPD Ain't doing a fuck, fuck, king job. Okay. Let's be clear. I, I want us to have a clear understanding of this co in house corruption, it that's going on. Okay. Yeah, I pray for her and her neighbors because they done swiped the camera so that they won't have to explain how they not doing they fucking job. But they want some more money out. Oh, okay. And they have an update on the uh, DeSoto County. <laughs> DeSoto County a former deputy jailer who was paid to let him get out free. They gave him the key Probably some money to get out of free. Didn't he have an envelope? Didn't he have some packages and shit in his hand when he freely just walked out with his with his beanie and shit? You know what I mean? And what happened to your nana? Is is she still locked up? They ain't gonna let her out, but they let you out. Is that what y'all telling me? <laughs> Let's hear this. <laughs> I'm all up in Polar's old lingo, ain't I? Yeah, I am. Mm-hmm. And y'all make sure y'all go check out this video. Because that's that Lisa Mull chick's son. Chris Jones. Chris Mull. M-U-L-L. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all go check this one out. I, I uploaded. Because I tried to see if he had been two weeks ago. This one right here. Orange Mound Shoe. Because him right there is Lisa Mull's son. The same one that got her nephew killed in the mound. I ain't forgot. Okay. And for my tea sippers who wasn't uh paying the, oh that's the girl name, Pop Poplar. Yeah. That's the one I need to check and see if she's still in there with Destiny's plumber. Yeah, y'all better stay woke. Yeah, this is this that girl that was is trafficking. That's her mama that lost her life because she was fighting. And now she hookering and the cookie people got her out because she was, that was her best friends. She been knowing her for, uh, uh, she said damn near all her life. Make sure we do a little research on uh, Taranika Poplar. Yeah. I ain't forgot about nothing. I'm just paused for a little bit. Okay. Okay. This orange mound, baby. This right here, orange mound. Stay woke. Stay woke. I ain't forgot. And I'm going to even talk about some of these YouTube content creators. Uh, Vegas. <laughs> Vegas trip. <laughs> Yes, indeed. 
I, you, you know, I was just there. But I got to update my tea sippers. Some of them know about what's going on in that Mo3 sector. <laughs> they done done a fool in Vegas. <laughs> and while I'm going back down memory lane, here's another uh, crooked cop that was fired. He worked at Shelby County and uh, DeSoto County. So I'm sure he knows that other guy. I don't know for sure, but I'm sure he do. I'm sure he knows what's going on. Uh-huh. That was two, two months ago? Yeah. Grand jury. Killer escaped. Oh, that's when he first escaped. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he do know him. Mm-hmm. Y'all days are numbered. One, two, feds are coming for you. Three, four, bubbles waiting at the door. <laughs> what did you? One, two, feds are coming for you. Three, four, bubble waiting at the door. For that ass. <laughs> Yeah. They should have just left you alone. They should have just left you alone. But no. No. And let's hear what the news people say about a Ronnie. Ronnie Hunt. Y'all ready? Cut my volume up. Let me see. Let me make sure my volume up. Pump, 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 pump up the volume. Hold on, hold on. Let's go. That breaking news, a former deputy jailer has been arrested in the escape of an accused killer in DeSoto County. Late this afternoon, Fox 13 learned Roddy Hunt, this man, was charged under Mississippi's laws about helping prisoners escape. Additional charges are expected, too. Fox 13 has also confirmed that Hunt was a deputy jailer in DeSoto County, but he is no longer with the sheriff's department. Thank you for being with us mm -hmm. tonight at 5. I'm Daryl Green. And I'm Darcy Thomas. That arrest comes on the same day that Fox 13 obtained new video showing the moment that inmate Joshua Zimmerman escaped from the courthouse in Hernando in June. Now, the murder suspect, mind you, was on the run for more than two months until he was captured in Chicago last week. Fox 13's investigative reporter Kayla Solomon joins us live in Hernando tonight. Kayla. Yeah, Darcy, this video gives us a full account of what happened. It shows us everything that law enforcement couldn't tell us. Now, it all happened within just 10 minutes, and it's clear that Joshua Zimmerman walked into this courthouse behind me with a plan on June 14th. And here. This video obtained by TVMO Community News begins just before 8.30 a.m. with Joshua Zimmerman and dozens of other inmates showing up to he the Hernando shackled. courthouse. Minutes later, you can see Zimmerman is clearly handcuffed while walking into the building, and all the inmates are led to a staircase. With As they're on. walking in a single file line, Zimmerman approaches the top step and darts up a second staircase instead of walking through the doorway like everyone else. Here's when the escape begins, 8.28 a.m. This is video that District Attorney Matthew Barton says was deleted from mm -hmm. his server. We had that securely stored up. on our server where we keep all of our evidence. Some co-conspirators uh, from an outside entity, not the state of Mississippi, uh, local entities. Uh, so somebody else is involved. Uh, Hold on. The county IT to go Hold on to my... So more people are involved. He said not Mississippi. Mississippi is the Soto County. He said outside entities. So there's other people that helped. Okay. Are we clear? Are we clear? Let's go back. Let's go back. Oh, yeah. They think we uh, boo-boo the fool. Matthew Barton says was deleted from his server. We had that securely stored on our server where we keep all of our evidence. Some co-conspirators uh, from an outside entity, not the state of Mississippi, uh, local entities, uh, directed uh, the county IT to go onto my server 
and delete state's evidence. The video continues. By 8.30, Zimmerman's in the attic of the building. You can see he pulls out a white t-shirt from under his orange jumpsuit. He walks out of the camera frame, and here, in a minute end. later, you see him come down a different stairwell in tan pants, a white t-shirt, and a cap on. He has a folder in hand and still has his sandals on as he darts down the stairs and out the door. All of this happened within a 10-minute span. The escape itself, from the time he darted up the staircase to the time he leaves, all takes just four minutes. Wow. Now, of course, Zimmerman's escape launched a full investigation, and it eventually also led to a gag order issued by a judge in this case. Uh, let's hear what this news station got to say. Oh, we trying to get it out. <laughs> I'm just too I done. They tried to play in our face. Criminals behind bars, but tonight a DeSoto County deputy jailer is charged with helping to set one inmate free. Hello, I'm Stephanie Skurlock. And I'm Greg Hurst. That deputy, Ronnie Hunt, worked in the jail and has since been fired. WRG's Brian Didlake joins us now live with the very latest. Brian, what'd you find out? Well, Stephanie and Greg, the DeSoto County Sheriff's Office tells us Joshua Zimmerman's arrest will fill in the gaps on how he escaped from the DeSoto County Courthouse, but people we spoke with say uh, the arrest of the deputy doesn't come as a complete surprise. They believe it had to be an inside, inside job. Absolutely. It had to be somebody inside. Uh, the arrest of the deputy doesn't come as a complete surprise. They believe it had to be an inside job. It had to be somebody inside because how would he get away the way they keep him shackled and stuff when they take him from courtroom to courtroom. And many Hernando residents believe this is the only scenario that makes sense. A jailer arrested for helping an attempted murder suspect escape. Well, he looked the the Sunday Sheriff's Office says Ronnie Hunt had been guarding inmates, but he has now been fired. He should know better. Or Why he not she arrested? should know better not to do that. Something Why like he that not arrested? To uphold the law like they... All he's going to do is go to Shelby County and get a job. The alleged involvement in Joshua Zimmerman's escape is still unclear, but from what we know now, the initial speculation from the sheriff about the escape appears to be completely wrong. Here's what we were told two weeks ago. The notion that he had help, that's false. Lie. The notion that he had an extra set of clothes, that's false. This is a career criminal. He knew what he was doing. The sheriff's Didn't I tell y'all he was lying? Look at me in my eyes, sir. You're not a good liar. Auntie Fee peep your game. For how many weeks ago? However many weeks ago. Eight, nine weeks ago. Nigga. I can see it in your eyes. Yeah. Your ass need to be in trouble too. You and up, Chief Davis. You knew good and damn well it was one of your officers because y'all had hid the evidence. Y'all didn't want the people to know. Fuck you mean. He didn't have an extra set of clothes. Lies. He had a key too. Now how you going to, well we know, but it was more. He said uh, uh, the outside entities and uh, co-conspirators. Plural. Speculation from the sheriff about the escape appears to be completely wrong. Lies. Here's what we were told two weeks ago. The notion that he had help, that's false. The notion that he had an extra set of clothes, that's false. from the sheriff about the escape appears to be completely wrong. Here's what we were told two weeks ago. The notion that he had help, that's false. The notion that he had an extra set of clothes, that's false. This is a career criminal. He knew what he was doing. Are you a career the liar? sheriff's office is now directing all questions to the Mississippi Bureau of Investigation, which is leading the investigation into Zimmerman's disappearance. We know that he's by himself in there. It's, there's no innocent civilians. It's only Zimmerman inside the building. Before being captured during a standoff last week in Chicago, Zimmerman had been on the run family since June. Lives. At the time, he was facing an attempted murder charge and was accused of attacking an elderly South Haven man. What's more, Zimmerman is also facing additional charges connected to the death of a woman in Houston. 
And now the DeSoto District Attorney's Office initially had a lot to say about the escape, but a judge has since told him not to make any further public comment. Meanwhile, former Deputy Ronnie Hunt remains in jail, and we're told he could face additional charges. But for now, we are live in studio. Brian Ditlake for your... So I was going to talk about something else. And hopefully I'll get to it. But real quick, little baby. They say he done got arrested again. Now he just lost uh, his restaurant partner. In Buckhead. Uh-huh. He was also... Uh, the concert, little baby. The concert where CEO Jizzle was uh, attempted murder on his life by CMG. He was there. It, he was in concert. Was he performing? Yeah, it was. It was his concert. So now he done got arrested. Let's listen. So I know we said we were gonna go to space first, but the astronauts were stranded. But before we do that, uh, breaking right now, little baby uh, was arrested in Las Vegas on Monday uh, for carrying a concealed weapon without a permit, which is a felony. Um, so he was taken at the time to Clark County Detention Center on 5K Bell. He was supposed to be headed to celebrate James Harden's birthday. I don't know, you know, what the situation is, if he made it there or whatever. Um, right now, there's not much more information outside of that. Um, yeah, little baby, that came out of nowhere. He was just there, like, handing out all the money to the people. And yep, the just handing out money. He gave him $11,000 worth of tips. Yeah. $11,000 worth of tips, so, man, I saw that. That happened fast. Um, but moving on, we have two astronauts right now. Speaking of Las Vegas. Hey, listen, don't go with nobody that can't keep your secrets. What goes on in Vegas is supposed to uh, stay in Vegas uh, unless you go with somebody who wants to be you, who's jealous of you, who thought that they was going to steal all the attention. Huh? Huh? <laughs> but couldn't hang. Okay? And now... They telling all the secrets. Well, let me say this. They telling all the lies. Made up stories and fabrication, fabrication for clicks and for views. And these people be killing me just listening and believing anything anybody telling them. This whole, instead of now asking for $3,000 because her trip was spoiled. Because her plan to be deceitful. And to make people content fail. And she became the content. Now she ain't happy. So now she threatening to call people's jobs. Corporate jobs. That is. Because she didn't have her way. Because she became the content. Instead of her providing content. Her was running down the strip. For her life. And wasn't nobody after her. What? So now she want $3,000 to do her trip over. For fucking what? You didn't handle the first trip good. What makes people think that you're going to handle another one on they dime? Didn't half of them pay for, donate for you? That Y'all better stop donating to these people. They fraud. They tricking y'all out y'all money. And then hell, people who provide y'all research content, y'all don't even want to send a cash out or, or a uh, super chat. But y'all send these retarded hoes to Vegas and shit, you know, to sit up there and lie and make up stories. She claimed people were sleeping or having sex, but her ass wasn't in the room. How you know what people was doing if your ass wasn't in the room? Huh? Huh? It's a bunch of mess. <laughs> and listen, uh, my boy, my homie, uh, my friend, <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, listen, you have a beautiful woman at the house. Okay. I got a beautiful woman. Stop playing with these hoes. 
Auntie Faye, did you call uh, uh huh. Y'all ought to see this woman, a uh, uh, foot that she claimed her foot is swollen uh, from her trip for Vegas because she was running after an imaginary uh, uh, arm. She thought somebody was swinging their arms. Uh, this is the craziest shit I done ever heard in my life. Her, her <laughs> baby, when I tell you her, <laughs> her feet look like Wendy Williams uh, uh, elephant feet, ankles and toes and shit. Oh yeah, it's 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 beyond ridiculous. <laughs> but on the cool, you know Auntie Fee don't believe none of it. Not not none of it. Because all them folk do, they do these uh, controlled narratives and make up stories and shit for clicks and for views. That's why I try my best to make sure my tea sippers get facts. But shout out to Vegas. A shout out to the Mo3 sector. <laughs> Baby, what goes on in Vegas, stay in Vegas unless you uh, bring along a hater. Okay. Rallo and Pig Lock. Been no simp. I was broke, I ran it up, now everybody like, look at him. And if a no bad about no hoe, not be moochie, never been no simp. I was broke, I ran it up, now everybody like, look at him. And if a nigga play with gang, we got choppers that take off limb. Killer, keep it masked, don't give a fuck if he go on fan. Long little dog, we take you off and we... An hour ago, Keek Lock said he finna leak some it to YouTube. Okay. Let's go. I told y'all they're going to be dropping stuff. It's going to be telling some things. Not just him, a lot of them. Let's go. And before I go, EBG, Moose Line, call out his partner, <laughs> Trace Line. Is that, is that his name? Yeah. Now, Trace Line. His little homies who robbed Lil Miga and bragged about it. So now here go Slime. He finna call him out. I ain't listening to it. So let's go. Man, 15 years, you ain't shot. Nadine. 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 And I've been on decided to get put on the guy in 2024. You it shows, nigga. You just let your little man rob your big homie. Oops. He let you just let your you you let your man rob your big homie. Shout out to Memphis Street News. Too slimy. So basically, man, we all know now. I don't know if you guys know or whatever, man. YNC and EBG officially. Oh, YNC. Different. Okay, he YNC. Trey Slime, you know, the two slimes, I guess. So, basically, man, we all know now. Well, I don't know if you guys know or whatever, man. YNC and EBG officially have started beefing or whatever, man. Now, from what I know, this all started over some. Weird so Ryan C is affiliates stuff. with but, uh, you know, if you know anything, you know, of fast you can drop cash jizzle, baby slime. Today is Moose Slime calling out Trey Slime, questioning his street credibility. Now, you know. Before I start talking about this, man, I can't lie. Trace Slime, his street credibility 
has been questioned a couple of times or whatever, man. Now, you know what I mean, bro? Of course, we all know Trey Slime used to play basketball. You know, of course, everybody gonna go at a person who used to hoop who is now on the streets or used to play football and is now on the streets. They gonna say, you know, you really an athlete. You know, you really was a fit for this life. Now, Trey Slime questioning his street credibility. Now, you know, before I start talking about this, man, I can't lie. Trey Slime, his street credibility has been questioned a couple of times or whatever, man. Now, you know what I mean, bro? Of course, we all know Trey Slime used to play basketball. You know, of course, everybody gonna go at a person who used to hoop who is now in the streets or used to play football and is now on the streets. They gonna say, you know, you really an athlete. Ain't about that life. That's what they try to tell folks. Folk. This wasn't the lifestyle that you really wanted. You jumped out the porch late or whatever, man. And some people go straight up tip. That's kind of what they were saying about uh, EST. Is it a uh, G? Because he, he had football scholarships and shit. He was trying to be pro football. Didn't make it and came out to be a, a thug rapper. Drill rapper. Yeah, you like, you know, you ain't never did nothing in these streets, really. And that's what Moose Lime is trying to tell Trey Slime now. Apparently, Moose Lime, he says Trey Slime, despite all the things he says in his raps and things of that nature, bro, he never shot anything ever. You know what I mean, bro? Just basically saying it's Trey Slime whole. The street life is capped. It's you fraud. Him talking about sliding, you know, bumping down switches, bumping down drapes, keypad, all of that, bro, is, you know, a lie, you know, most specifically the shooting or whatever, man. Basically, he ain't got no bodies. You know. But he talking I, about he done, he done you know, cop some bodies. We don't know Trey Slime or whatever, man. The only people who will be able to contest for that is people that's in his hood. You know what I mean? His STK guys, you know. They are the only ones that can really vouch for that. We really can't vouch for Trey Slime. But he started the war, EBG. Been in the streets with him or, you know, just don't know him personally. Moose got beef with uh, Double R. Is he really what he's talking about? Or, you know, is he just another. He playing a dangerous game if, if he not. And before I go, shout out to uh, Dolph Baby Brother. They look a lot alike. <laughs> Today is his birthday. So we're going to keep it off and keep it family. So uh, shout out to him. And y'all, I'll be back. I'm going to try to go live around mm, 6.30, 7 o'clock. So stay tuned, okay? Peace out. It depends on how long it takes this to, to upload. Because on this device, it typically takes a little bit. But can y'all go ahead and hit the like button? Yeah, I haven't been hitting the like button. So I am not... Uh, been having a desire to be honest uh no support makes me not want to do lives and stuff you know especially the way i see y'all support everybody else uh yeah go on hit the like button uh support on tv i would greatly appreciate it
Happy birthday, young fella. And before I go, Mia J says, join us in demanding justice for Dolph. Go to BMDTGO. Black men deserve to grow old. BMDTGO.com and order your t-shirt so we can get ready for trial. Okay? Show your support. There it go right there. I'm ordering mine. Long live Dolph. Justice for Dolph.